Hey you guys, I just finished putting wax on this beautiful box that I built yesterday. I love the raised panel on the lid. Super, super cute. And I was cleaning up my workspace uh, here and I just realized I have lots, lots of clamps that I use when I make boxes. And some of those clamps are to keep the joint square and then some of those are to keep the joint closed. So I'm going to show you my favorite clamps. I'm going to show you all the clamps that I currently have for small boxes. And I'll tell you which one I like, which one I don't like them so much and so on. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first clamps I'm going to show you are my least favorites and they're going straight in the garbage after I show them to you. I have these ones over here are from Woodpeckers and this is a knockout brand I got from Amazon. Um, when I bought them, I bought them the same time because I wanted to make a video and comparing them. And uh, as you can see, they on the back they have a knob. The Woodpeckers is red, the knockout is just a black one. And then in the front they look something like this. They are absolutely identical and they both don't work, at least not for me. Um, why I hate them is because the way they work, they have this triangle over here and you have to set this to the thickness of your material and for that you need a little Allen wrench and every time you have different thickness material, you have to move this triangle and then supposedly when you tighten this knob, this other triangle is pushing it down and it pushes the material onto the corner and I just, I find them, they don't work. Um, I don't like them at all, so onto the garbage they're going right now. With that out of the way, let me show you some clamps that do work. Now, the next square I'm going to show you is these guys over here. I have them from two different brands. And uh, they have a spring in the back. And then when you push that spring, you see it opens the jaw. And that's how it goes on your box. So I have a box over here. This is the way it will go on it and it will hold your box at 90 degrees. However, I don't use this guy so much. They are pretty big. So for a box like this, this is like over five inches. Um, you can fit two clamps, but for smaller boxes, they will not fit inside. So you can see this would be too big for that one. So they work really well. Uh, but I don't use them so much. The next ones I'm going to show is these guys over here. I have them two sets. This one is painted red. This one, it's not painted and it's a little bit sturdier, a little bit more substance to it. However, I do tend to grab the red ones just because they feel smooth to the touch. And also, you know, they're a little bit smaller. And these guys, they, wait, they work, you open these jaws and then you place them on your box and you close them up and this will hold your box uh, square. However, you see they are pretty big. So this is over five inches box and it does fit. You can put one on each side, but for a smaller box like that, this one, these clamps will not work. They're just way too big. You cannot possibly put them on a small box like that. So this guy's really, really great, but only for bigger boxes. The next clamp I'm going to show you is this one over here. And this one works really, really well. Um, it not only keeps your joint square, it also pushes it in so it closes the joint nicely. So I'm going to show you on this box. First, I have to open it. So this is the way it works. Really, really nice clamp. However, they are bigger clamps and they do not work for small boxes. It will never work on this box. And it doesn't even, you can put it on this box, but you will only get one clamp. So you can't get the whole box square. So because of that, I don't use them so much. However, I do use these guys when I make drawers. The next clamps are these guys, and these I use all the time. They come in a pack of four, I believe, and they come with the clamps, and you will just clamp them to your box like this. I love these guys for two different reasons, and I'm going to explain to you why in a second. So this is the way these guys go. 
and uh, they are very very small and I like that it leaves the corner open I can see how the joint looks so if something is not right I can fix it where some of these other clamps they are covering the joint and I cannot see it and then another one the worst kind of similar is this squares over here the same way you would use these clamps and you will attach it in the corner like this and these guys are actually even smaller for this small box you can put two clamps with no problem so there you go this is the way these squares go in and then this is the way this one goes so this is my two favorites and then as a bonus, I will show you one more thing that makes boxes so much easier. And that is these clamps over here. They're just some metal spring clamps. It comes with this crazy tool. And this tool, it just helps you open the jaw of the clamps. And then you can place it on your miters and it keeps your miter closed. It's so tight in there. I will show you. I'm taking off this thing. And I mean, if I can take the, let me take the blue tape off. No, I can't really hold it exactly at 45. So you can see it stays together just by that one clamp and really keeps the joint close and makes for beautiful miters. So what I normally would use, it's a combination of these guys. And because these guys leave my miter open, then I can use this spring clamp to keep the joint close. Sometimes I also would use band clamps. I like the ones from Betsy. And then also I like the ones from PowerTech. I'll put these guys in the description below as well. But sometimes those band clamps are overkill for small boxes. And these guys just do such a such a great job of keeping the joint closed. And it does leave a little bit of indentation, but it's so easy to send it afterwards. So let me show you. Let me take the clamp off. So as you can see, you will get two small dots, but they send really, really easily so I don't see that as a problem so those are my favorite clamps for small boxes if you have a favorite clamp that I did not show and you think it works really really well please put it in the comments below so we can all learn and you know not waste our money on bad clamps just buy the things that we need